Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zenzi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got my June empties. I can't believe it's the end of June. I literally was looking at something earlier and I was like, oh, it's like the 21st. But then no, it's like the end of the month right now. So yeah, we are late in the month and I'm just going to film my empties and let you know what I got through this month. I have got a stack of wax. I've also got some laundry, some body care, some car stuff, all kinds of things here. So I'll just kind of jump in. Um, let's do the car stuff first. I did a scent circle in Star Apple and Freesia. It's right here. I really love this one. This one was like a gentle, fresh scent, very fruity, a little bit of floral. It was really pretty. This was a top notch scent for the car. It was about an average performer, maybe like a week. I would absolutely purchase this one again though. And I love this in wax as well. So Star Apple and Freesia, I will repurchase in the scent circle and in the wax. And it was about an average performer. Love that one. Tropic Nectar. This one did okay. This was really, really pretty. It only lasted maybe like a week, week and a half. So again, about average in performance and it was really, really nice. It was a nice creamy tropical fruit scent. I love this again in the wax as well. And this one did smell quite true to the wax, same as Star Apple and Freesia did. These two scents both were pretty true to scent. Ben's tail in the frame there next to Piper waving in front of her. There, he's gonna harass Piper. Hey Ben. Leave it. Good boy. So that one was really good. And again, I would repurchase this one in the wax and in the scent circle. Ben, leave it. Good boy. Blue agave and melon. This one, I love in the wax. This one was not true to wax in the scent circle. And sometimes that just happens. This one, at first in the car, when I had this going, I would get in the car and be like, ooh, did Trin forget to take back the recycling? Because sometimes his class takes back the recycling and he uses that money for his class for like field trips and stuff for kids who can't pay for it. So I thought maybe it was like fermenting bottles and cans in the back of my car. That's what this one smelled like. So I really thought it was like old recycling. There was no recycling in the car. It was, it was this and it persisted for several days that way. Um, after a few days, it did kind of get more like actual blue agave and melon, but by then it was pretty much so light you couldn't really smell it anyways. So this was like a week or less and kind of made my car smell like fermenting recycling juice boxes. So that was a pass. Won't buy that again in scent circles, but I will repurchase it in wax. Black raspberry vanilla scent pack. I did this not in the car. I did this in my front closet in the hallway where we keep our coats and our shoes and stuff. Just threw this in here to freshen it up and it's really nice. It's about a month in. I put this in at the beginning of June. It's almost a month in <clears throat> and you can still smell it when you open that closet. It's very pleasant, kind of a nice berry scent a little bit of a perfuminess to it. It's really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's like hitting me in the face or anything when I open the door, but it is smellable when you open that closet door. Mango Matcha. This one was again, really nice, but again, not all that smellable for very long. This was again, maybe like a four or five day, like maybe four day one. Not overly long lasting, but again, it has been hot and that does seem to use these up a little bit quicker. Um, but this one, again, I would repurchase in wax. I might even repurchase it in the scent circle but I would hope maybe for better performance next time. But this one was true to the wax in scent circle form. Next, I finished up some body care stuff. I finished up a scrub from Bath and Body Works in the fairy tale scent. Do we have a scent description on here? Yes, we do. Pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom and vanilla bean. This one was really pretty. This one smelled kind of like if you took Scentsy's white amber and silk scent. It's kind of a nice soapy, clean, like pretty scent and then you added some like fruit to it like that orange I wouldn't have guessed it was orange but some fruit and some vanilla is there vanilla yeah vanilla bean I thought I could smell vanilla in here this was really lovely I love the formulation of this scrub as well it's nice and scrubby it rinses cream clean it foams up I do love their scrub and the scent on this was really nice I would buy this scent again too I'd purchase this product again entirely I really liked that Then we finished up a Lush Shower Gel in the mini size in Mango. This one is Light Up the Night with this marvelous Mango Body Cleanser. Now I had done a bottle of this last month as well. This is my second bottle of this in a couple months. Um, the last bottle I had of this was better. This one smells different and I don't know why. Sometimes with Lush, because they are using so many fresh products, something as simple as a different batch of mangoes or a different batch of fruits that they use to make the product will actually make a difference in the scent. And I think that's maybe what happened here. I think it's just a batch variation. It's not bad, it's just different. So this has like cardamom, it has glycerin, coconut milk, fresh mango juice, vanilla absolute. 
uh, Black Current Absolute, Sweet Orange Oil, uh, Marigold Oil. So th those are all the scent components in here, and all of those could have batch variations. Something in here just wasn't quite... It was like pungent. I don't know how to describe it. The other one was much more fresh and juicy and crisp. This one was more pungent. Um, I just didn't prefer it. It was okay. I I would hope if I got more, I would get the other version of it. Um, but yeah, that's it was okay. I might give it another chance next summer, but I think I'm done with the scent for now. Um, next thing I got through was a face cream. This is the Fresh Brand Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. Uh, Super Lotus Night Recovery from Fresh. And this one I've been working on for a while. This one I think was just supposed to be kind of like a like evening cream. And it's a nice glass jar. I like the packaging. It's got a decent scent to it. It's not overly scented, which I appreciate. It's got kind of a fresh, like herbal, like herbal-ish type scent. Fresh, I would say. Um, scent is fine. The cream itself is really nice. It doesn't break me out at all. It does seem to hydrate my skin fairly well, except for the very driest of times. So I do really like this. I, anytime I can find a night cream that is nice and moisturizing that doesn't break me out. Sometimes when you get them heavy enough to actually moisturize your skin, they get so heavy they break you out, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and this one doesn't do that. It is nice and moisturizing and doesn't break me out. It feels lightweight on the skin and it does seem to soak in fairly quickly, so it's not glopping on your face. So I really like this one. Um, would I ever purchase this? I'm kind of fickle with skincare in that I like to try a lot of different things. This I would repurchase, which is saying a lot. Um, I will probably repurchase this cream probably for next summer though, because I think I'll be good for now with what I've got, but um, I will repurchase this probably. Then in laundry, I got through a laundry liquid finally <laughs> in cranberries and tinsel. This was okay. I don't know that I would repurchase it. It was fine. Yeah, it's kind of a nice fresh pine tree cranberry scent. I much preferred this around the holidays um, and we don't use the laundry liquid on my husband's stuff. And so he does a lot of the laundry, so he doesn't use it ever. So this one took a while to get through. Um, I don't think I would have purchased this. It was okay. I do have another small washer whiff in this scent that I will, I'm saving for the holidays and I'm gonna be very happy to use it then. But again, our laundry liquid performs really well. It does a good job cleaning your clothes. Ben, what are you doing, man? He's got his entire basket, oh my gosh. He does that, he'll take like his entire basket in his mouth and just walk around with it. It's his toy box. Um, yeah, so I would repurchase our laundry liquid and always do, just not necessarily in that scent. What you doing, buddy? Then we have washer whiffs, a big tub, and fluffy fleece, and this will be an absolute repurchase in the fall. Um, this one is kind of like heliotrope and like some florals. It's really, really cozy and pretty. I don't like the scent fluffy fleece in wax. To me, it smells like dill pickles, and I don't know why that is, but I don't get that at all from the washer whiffs or from the laundry care. So in laundry, I love fluffy fleece, and this is a like my go-to scent for sheets, towels, and all the cozy linens and stuff like that. I love fluffy fleece. So we'll absolutely repurchase that one when the weather cools off again. And then on to wax. The first thing I used was a sample from my friend Sara in Vanilla Oud. This is vanilla, leather, and oud wood, and this is gorgeous. We have to get this back and bring back my bar. This is like Pacific sandalwood, nice and creamy and soft, nothing harsh or woodsy, creamy soft goodness. It is what you want your life to smell like. It's gorgeous. So I did two cubes of that in the bedroom. It did fairly well. Yeah. I will go through these fairly quickly because I've talked about all of these in what I've been warming videos. So I'm just going to kind of buzz through them. Uh, Juicy Apple Raspberry. This one did well. I would repurchase it if I could. Pink Haze is in my club. This one is always a good performer as well. Like that one. Caramel Buttercream. Nice one. I don't think I have more of this. If I do, maybe just one bar. It's a nice caramely buttercream scent. I don't know that I would purchase it though. Stitch 626. This one is back in my club now. This one is like just deliciousness. This is like orange fresh goodness. Very good performer. Aussie Plum. Nice medium performer. Average. And kind of a nice general fruity scent. Ben, are you eating your basket? No. Next I did Ocean Air and Coconut Water. Whoop. Next, I did Ocean Air and Coconut Water. This one is a summer collection bar and I will absolutely repurchase this. It has actually gone into my club. So when this is no longer available, I'm gonna keep getting it. This one is a beautiful fresh scent. 
It is like fresh and aquatic and also cuddly cozy all at the same time. It's gorgeous. Sugar cookie, classic. This one is like butter and sugar cookie dough. It's sweet bakery goodness, a great mixer. Make a splash. This one I think I actually will repurchase. I wasn't sure if I would, but I think I will. This one I think has like apple and maybe melon and freshness. I think it's like apple melon and turquoise waters. It's a good performer, nice and strong if you like fresh scents. Tangerine and sugar cane. This is about an average performer. It is a sweet sugared orange scent. It's okay. I probably won't repurchase, but I do enjoy it. Oh, Snapdragon. This one is discontinued. This is like Snapdragon, blood orange, and grapefruit, I think it is. It's a basic fruity floral. Not all that great of, great of a performer in my home, so not a repurchase. I can't anyways. Uh, White Sands, I have clubbed. This one is phenomenal. Currently available in Bring Back My Bar until the end of June. So if you're watching this when it first comes up, you might be able to get your hands on this still, but it's going away soon. This one, yeah, it is like jasmine, rice, and coconut milk. It is gorgeous. Almond croissant, always a favorite. Croissant, oh my gosh. Croissant, cinnamon sugar, and roasted almonds. This one is amazing. And this is a nice old bar, so it's well-aged. It is top-notch, amazing. Love that one. Hazelnut latte, the package is a bit dirty. This is also in my club. This is a creamy, cozy hazelnut latte. Not overly heavy on the coffee, but really, really good. High Mountain Lake. This was from the Father's Day collection. Not a repurchase from me. Just not that great of a performer in my home. Um, and Scent Appeal is just okay for me. It's all right. Cashmere and Corduroy. One that's in my club for safekeeping. I really, really like this one. I think it'll be back on September 1st. But if it's not, it is in my club. I love this one. Good performer. Lasts a long time, although I prefer it for the first day. Blonde Wooden Moonflower was a bring back my bar a while ago. This one's a very good performer. I got two days out of my open layout out of this, out of this and it did really well. Don't know that I would get more if I could. I do still have a couple bars and I think I'm good with that. Vitamin Soothe, I would buy more if I could. I wish I had. This is a nice minerally sea salt rock type scent. Really, really nice. Very like rock, wet, wet rocks is what I get there. And a spiced eggnog brick. This was from the holiday collection. This was, I think, last holiday collection. Like not the one, that, like two holidays ago, this was available. And this one was spiced rum, eggnog, and um, clove, I think it was. Clove, not all that apparent here. This one's just very much like eggnog. It's really realistic, really, really good. And I enjoyed that one. I'm glad I have it in my club. Then I did a few vendor items, just a few of them. I did a Country Home Candle Abolish uh, Watermelon Bar. This was really good. I would purchase this like this line of scent again, but I think I'd get a different scent. It was really nice though. I enjoyed the watermelon scent. And then two scoops from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one is Spun Sugar, Berries, Strawberry, Pink Cotton Candy, and Red Grapes. I have repurchased this in a whole big brittle. I really enjoy that scent. It's like strawberry ice cream almost. Then we have Dracula Zucchini Bread from Vintage Chic Scents. This is Dracula, or Be Seduced by Dracula with this bl blend of pecan, caramel swirl, sugar cookie dough, zucchini bread, and gooey marshmallows. This was good. Uh, zucchini is weird for me. I don't know. This had more zucchini than I, I normally like. It was okay though. Um, zucchini to me reads as buttered popcorn in wax. I don't know why. But this one had more zucchini than most. Uh, Dessa's Homespun Scents. This is a gift from my friend Becky. This is fresh bread and jam, and I really like this one. This was crusty baked bread, sweet strawberry jam. This was good. This was like bread and jam. And I would say squishy white bread, not toast, and jam. It was good. It was a like maybe medium in my home or light medium and lasted about a day, but it was very, very enjoyable. So thank you. That was a good one. And yes, that is what I got through in the month of June. So I don't know. It's been really, really busy where I am or, or in my life right now. So I've gotten through maybe a little bit less than I normally do just because we've been so, so, so busy and never home. So that is what I got through in the month of, Ju in the month of June. I will see if I get through more in July and August when my family is home. I won't be home, but they will be. So I'll put wax in the warmers for them. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you're doing well. I'd love to know what your plans are for July as we head into summer. Do you have plans? Do you go anywhere in the summertime? I would love to hear below. Um, us, we do a little bit of a like getaway to the nearest town 
um, but nothing crazy as far as vacations go. So thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.